Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel, All Things Taylor. I am doing a brand new vlog. I have not done one of these in a hot minute. <laughs> I have been so busy. I've had so many things going on. All of 2022, I was injured literally from January through December. It was a really rough year. So one of the reasons why I decided to do a vlog is because I just got done doing a cameo and uh, my weekly Friday podcast with Vince Russo called uh, The Brand Live with Vincent Taylor. Uh, if you guys want to check that out, uh, we the videos are on his YouTube channel. I will post some clips. We've had about four or five um, episodes so far. It's every Friday at 12 p.m. Uh, EST. We go live and talk about various topics in pop culture. Uh, the reason why I'm doing this vlog today is it's been a really rough week <laughs> um, and I think sometimes we can all learn from each other's experiences our triumphs and our failures so here we go today it was an epic fail this week has been really rough <laughs> so I was on the road for uh, away from home for about five-ish weeks uh, for a project and <sighs> oh. I am still trying to get back into the swing of my routine in my tiny house on wheels. We're filled with lots of laughter, love, wagging tails, and fur <laughs> in my tiny house on wheels. And so today's Friday, uh, 12 p.m. EST, we had the brand live with Vincent Taylor. And everything that could go wrong pretty much was going wrong. Like, that's why being live is just really authentic and funny. Because uh, you can't stop, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's live. And so today, uh, my backdrop fell twice. Uh, one of my eyelashes came off. It was just like, <laughs> um, I lost my page for my notes. I knocked over two parts of my lighting rig and, <laughs> and I was pretty sure I got some of my lipstick on my teeth because I am not fancy. Um, I am not fancy. Uh, <laughs> so today was great. Today was awesome. I am so blessed. Uh, you even got, you know, briefly to look at my, uh, checkered plaid pants that I have not worn in years. Uh, it kind of brings me back to my height, my goth high school days, uh, you know, with the combat boots, which are back in, like, are we that old now where our childhood fashion is like in now? Like now I know what our parents <laughs> felt like but I secretly love it because that fashion was awesome I love the 90s not all of the 90s and definitely not the early 2000s but like the plaid with the the shredded baggy pants and the combat boots the leather jacket and the flannels like love that I love that for me <laughs> I love that for fashion um so that'll always kind of be my thing so today uh they made an appearance because yeah it got seen on my camera because my backdrop fell but I guess I'm not going to apologize for it because I really love these pants and I like, I don't know, I love their baggy feel and just the look and stuff, but it's just really funny. So I kind of wanted to take a moment to laugh at myself a little bit because I think sometimes we all take ourselves a little too seriously and it's good to just laugh. When things are just going wrong and it's kind of like Murphy's Law, you just gotta laugh. You just gotta laugh, you know. So yesterday I uh, sliced off like a big chunk of my knuckle. There was like blood all over the place um, on a can of pumpkin. Yeah, this is this is the day of the life of the Taylor Hendricks. Like I'm Calamity Jane. I am in a hardcore match with the earth 24-7 every day of my life. Oh, like I said, I was injured literally all of 2022. I had two surgeries in 2022. Uh, yeah, I had several injuries, so it was just a crazy year. And then I shaved off my part of my knuckle yesterday. Uh, I had a bunch of stuff go wrong on my <laughs> YouTube live today for my podcast. Um, and then, of course, I had a death in my family, which is not funny. But I think it is a learning moment to appreciate people while they're still around to be appreciated. I see a lot of people that always bring flowers to funerals and write these beautiful eulogies of all these beautiful things that they want to say. But a lot of times they don't actually say these things to the people when they're around to hear them, when they're alive to appreciate those flowers and things like that. So I kind of just wanted to use this as a reminder that the man is not holding you down um, and to just appreciate life as it comes and, you know, take a moment to appreciate people, whether it's a text message, a handwritten letter, an email, a phone call, a first person to person visit, whatever the case may be, whatever you can do, just let people know that you love them and appreciate them. Stop waiting until they have passed on to let them know how much they mean to you. 
because while those flowers are a great gesture on the casket, I'm pretty sure it would have been an even better gesture had they had been around to smell those flowers, to feel the petals, and to see them pretty in a vase for them to look at. Um, I worked in a nursing home as a teenager, so I know for that what I am saying is a fact. It's not an opinion. Um, I saw this firsthand, and then obviously uh, the death of a family member. Uh, she was absolutely amazing. She was not born in the U.S. Uh, she was born uh, in another country, and she built an entire business here in America uh, with English not being her first language. And, you know, I'm just, I, I love that. I love just the tenacity and the grit of people that can succeed instead of using excuses as to why that they're not this, that, or the other, and just working on their, their own shizit and their own stuff to build something worthwhile to pass down to their family members. Instead of generational curses, they build generational wealth and just a story to be proud of. And so that was kind of something that I wanted to pass on today was just what's been going on and just to appreciate people. Um, especially yourself. I know it's, uh, we just had Valentine's Day, the, the holiday for lovers and, you know, the month of love and all this other stuff, which actually sounds like the summer of love, but it's really not. Um, you know, if you don't have anybody to spend it with, don't, don't go down that rabbit hole of despair and loneliness. Like, you spend so much time in your own head and in your own company. Make that a place you want to be instead of a nightmare. You know, make it, you know, if you're not comfortable being alone, you know, and enjoying time by yourself, then you can't really, you're not really in a position yet to fully love somebody else the way they deserve and have them love you the way you deserve if you can't love yourself first. Um, and that's something I see a lot. People try to compare their own relationships or their own lives to people on social media, but it's fake, guys. Do not fall for it. A lot of the relationships today that you see post all the time, like every single day, every hour on social media, it's fake. A lot of those people are the most toxic relationships that aren't even happy, and that's why they're seeking external validation on social media instead of improving themselves or their relationship. Um, and so sometimes it's better to enjoy your own company than being so lonely and full of despair because of society's holiday of love that you settle for something less than what you deserve. So I hope that this motivates people to Work on yourselves and have those brutally honest conversations so you can be the best, most authentic version of yourself and leave those outdated versions of you that don't need to exist anymore in the past where they belong so you can focus on an amazing future honoring all the people whose DNA flows through your veins who made it possible for you to even exist and be born and honor them as well as the little kid you used to be and don't get boggled down by this month of love, you know, and, and do little things for yourself that make you feel good so you can enjoy your company while working on yourself to be able to show up better, represent be better, be better, so that ultimately you can receive better and eventually find that person who is going to love you the way you need and vice versa and they can understand your love language and be the the last ingredient to your recipe for success and they add instead of taking away. and. I think that society would be such a better place if we learned these lessons a lot younger, you know, learning to love ourselves instead of the fickle likes and opinions and swipes of others who can change on any whim, any dime. It's better to love yourself and be confident in yourself instead of seeking out external approval and validation from others who really don't really care about you at all. Um, and I think that's why we have so many relationships that fail, marriages that fail, and people in society that are unhappy. All these generational curses that are passed down, all these unfair expectations and people being brainwashed into thinking that they're somehow less than when in reality, somebody that couldn't even originally speak English came here and, and built a company that employs people and all these other amazing things while they are blessed enough to be on this planet to do so. Enjoy your lives. Take a little bit of time for you. Work on your self-love and your confidence and your integrity as a person. And go out into the world and use that as a compass to find the people that truly do love you and believe in you. It's like they say, your vibe attracts your tribe. And uh, appreciate the people who have been there for you and who do love you. And let them know that while they're still around to hear it. Because that is one of the most amazing, most special things that they will never forget, and neither will you. Instead of having, you can be grateful instead of full of regret. 
All right, everyone, this has been my latest uh, vlog. I hope you guys tune in to uh, Talks with Taylor Hendricks every Tuesday on RissusBrain.com, uh, the brand live every Friday with Vincent Taylor, as well as all the content that I have been plugging away on this YouTube channel. And I hope to see you guys on my blog as well, medium.com slash Taylor Hendricks for all things Taylor. Until next time.